do we have to go through digital transformation? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I would say you don't have to. You don't have to go through digital transformation, but digital transformation is going to go through you. It doesn't matter if you're an SME, if you're a large organization, if you're a government organization, the time is now. Professor Loredana, how are you? I'm very good, Sabri. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's always a pleasure to see you. Uh, tell us a bit about yourself and what you do for ECLIP and ASP. So, my name is Loredana Padurian. I'm a professor of management and entrepreneurship at the Asia mm -hmm. School of Business. Mm -hmm. I'm also the associate dean and faculty director for actual learning. Uh, I was born in Romania. Uh, and then for a while I lived in Switzerland where I got my PhD and I used to uh, manage a ski resort, believe it or not. Wow. <laughs> that was an adventure. And then um, after that I moved to US where I became a professor uh, for a while. I used to teach at the Indian School of Business. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I moved to Kuala Lumpur in 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've been with ASB since day one. Well done, well yeah. done. In the uh, ECLIF ASB Executive Education Program, I was told you are teaching a program called Digital Transformation. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this program. So I have to say that probably digital transformation is the biggest buzzword of this decade. Mm -hmm. And especially post-COVID, I think all companies are very much aware of the need for, for digital transformation. But there's a little bit of a caveat here, which is because it's so new, because it's so disruptive, I think we have different perspectives on what it is and how to do it. So the way we think of digital transformation at ASB, which I think is very unique than in most programs, is we think of digital transformation in three stages or three, three areas. One is strategic um, transformation. Mm -hmm. So it has to do a lot with, with uh, leadership and innovation. The second one is culture and people. And mm -hmm. the third one is what we call operational technical transformation. Mm -hmm. um, and the truth is, the more you talk to people who are going through this, this process of digital transformation, mm -hmm. companies that you, that you talk to, they say that the biggest hurdle is not technology. The biggest hurdle is leadership and people. Wow. <laughs> so True. that's what I focus on. Wow. You must have spent a lot of time researching on this subject matter. Tell me, uh, Professor, what specific business or organizational issues do you hope to help solve by teaching such a program? So I, I've only become interested in this topic because everybody else is talking about it, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And I get so many requests to, to help companies reflect on their transformation journey. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not a technical person. This is not a technical program. So you're not going to come to this program and learn cloud or computer languages or anything of that. What we would like you to come for this program for is to understand that for any disruption, digital, whatever that is, mm. you have to first have a mindset transformation. I see. So before we are ready for any kind of disruptive change, this century, a century ago, right? Mm -hmm. We have to go through a people transformation, a, a mentality transformation. And one of the biggest hurdles that we have learned in our research when it comes to transformation, digital in this case, is a lot of mindset rigidity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? We, we humans don't like change. As much as we like to talk about change, we actually mm -hmm. don't like change. It's against our DNA, it's against our survival instincts. That's right. And digital transformation is such a major change that we naturally tend to resist. So all these success case studies of companies that I spend time with in, in this journey of digital transformation, they are successful because at first they focus on these two things leadership transformation and people transformation. Mm -hmm. So I hope that when people come for this program, they understand that you can do everything you want if you have the right mindset. Mm -hmm. And even if, and I'll tell you this as an anecdote, before COVID, I used to go and talk to a lot of, peop uh, a lot of companies and people, and I used to ask them, are you ready for digital transformation? And a lot of these companies would tell me, prof, we're actually doing pretty well without digital transformation. Do we have to go through digital transformation? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I would say you don't have to. You don't have to go through digital transformation, but digital transformation is going to go through you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because this is a change similar if you want to 
when we started having internet, electricity, right? That's right. It's not something that you can fight. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I really hope that the first, the first, uh, uh, the, the program is going to help people first and foremost in, in changing their mindsets. So, is it right to say it is coming to you and for you, whether you like it or not? It's already there. The question is, are you ready for it? <laughs> Yeah, and even if you're not ready for it, yes. you know, you're, you're going to face consequences that unfortunately are going to be dramatic and disruptive. So besides walking away with the right mindset, what else do I look forward to learn from your program if I were to sign up for it? What kind of skills can I learn from you, please? So I think one of the things that we've been trying very hard at ASB ECLIF is to create a very diverse classroom. Mm -hmm. So one of the things we always said, and the same thing when we teach at MIT, is that the learning experience comes partially from the faculty, mm -hmm. but it comes a lot from the uh, type of people you have in the classroom. So we are trying to curate a classroom that has a very diverse set of students, participants, if you want, so we can learn from each other because mm -hmm. uh, the experience that you have in your company in Malaysia might be very different than the experience I have in my company in Boston or exactly. whatever that is. Mm -hmm. So I want to facilitate uh, a, a discussion about you know, mindset transformation, disruptive innovation, disruptive strategy, disruptive leadership, but using a lot of the practical experience of mm -hmm. each and every one of us in the classroom. For those people who might be thinking about mm. signing up for your program, what final words do you have to say to us? Well, I'm going to say, what are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> you know, to be very honest, I had a, a very interesting conversation a few year, uh, a few days ago mm -hmm. with the leader of a, of a Malaysian bank who is probably one of the most uh, disruptive digital leaders I have met in a long time. And what she was saying, she said, it doesn't matter if you're an SME, if you're a large organization, if you're a government organization, the time is now. The truth is the time was last year or two years ago, but mm -hmm. start today. Today is better than tomorrow. That's right. So, like I said, what are you waiting for? Let's get transformed together. Mm -hmm.